Hello, my name is Matthew Randall, and in this series of tutorials, I'm going to look at how we can use projection and UV map transfers to actually texture kind of complex shapes using photographs. So in this case, we're going to try, uh, we're going to apply this technique to um, creating textures for a head model. Okay, so I'm just going to talk you through the basis of this technique. What we do is we start with a um, uh, uh, some orthographic photographs. So we've got the front of the face and the side of the face okay and then what I can do is with my UV maps I can actually um, uh, to put the front image of the face onto our model I can actually do a planar projection from the front of the face so if we look at our axis here that would be the Z axis and then use that and then uh, and then use that mesh or, or use that map to put the front image onto our model okay so if I look at the UV map you'll see that we indeed we have a planar projection if we look at our wireframe that's a projection of the wireframe from the front of the face and then we're using that to put this image of the face onto it okay and then I do a similar thing with the side of the face I do a planar projection from the side of the face and then what we do is we put the side of the face the image of the side of the face onto that wireframe Okay, so if we look a little bit closely now at these images, what you'll see is that the front projection, so the, the model where we've done the front projection, we get a really good front face, but the details on the side are lacking, okay? And indeed, in fact, just to prove it's a front projection, you can see that the front goes onto the back of the face as well, but we're not going to worry about that at this moment. So you can see we lack details on the side, and then if I look at the side projection, you can see on the side of the face we have loads of detail, but we lack it on the front. So what we want to do is combine these two to create a result that we have in the middle here, um, uh, which is uh, both, um, uh, you know, which is both the front, uh, the detail of the front, and the detail of the side, all mapped onto our character. Okay. Now the way that we do that is if I go into the UV map, you'll see that this model here has a conventional UV map that we would expect to see for a face. That's been all the whole face here has been properly unfolded. Okay, so what we can do in uh, Maya is we can go into our render menu. So I'll go rendering and I'm going to go render and we can click on, uh, I'm looking for transfer maps. Sorry, it's under lighting and shading transfer maps. OK, and what we can actually do is we can take the texture that is on uh, this UV map and actually transfer it to this UV map. OK, so we can do that both for the front model and the side model. And what we end up with, I shall show you. In fact, I want to open that up. Let's click on here. Uh, I shall show you. So this is the front projection transferred to the uh, middle faces UV map, the conventional UV map, okay? And then this is the side projection transferred to, again, the middle heads UV map, okay? And then what we can do is we can take both of those into Photoshop. So, so we can pull up Photoshop. We can take both of those into Photoshop and combine them to create one texture. And it's this texture that is applied to uh, the model that you see in the middle of this uh, image. So it's that that's the texture that's been applied to the middle model uh, in this uh, image. OK, so that's the process that we're going to go through. First thing we need to kind of consider then is that if I just go to this UV map, um, it's it's very unlikely that um, when we project this uh, 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 face, uh, sorry, when we put this face, when we overlay this face onto this wireframe, it's very unlikely that it's going to fit perfectly. Okay, so if I actually just uh, zoom in on this a little bit of detail, you can actually see we still have problems with this actually, uh, in that the the ears are kind of don't quite meet up, and the chin doesn't quite meet up with the bottom here. Okay, but actually it's it's a pretty it's, it's a pretty good lineup. Uh, uh, really, okay, uh, and e even this has actually been tweaked a little bit. So this image here has been tweaked a little bit in Photoshop in order to make it fit uh, the wire mesh. Okay, so the first thing that we want to actually do is output the wire mesh and bring that into Photoshop, and then use that as a reference to actually take this front face image and kind of 
uh, fit the front face image to that wireframe. So that's what we're going to do in the next tutorial.